It may have been the sale of a century. Check it out, J. Crew sale. One of you guys on the bench, you guys messaged me in the morning and said it was a crazy, crazy sale going on, 60% off clearance, but the things were marked down. So I thought we would just go through everything I got. I got 14 items. You'll never believe how much it all cost. Everything was insanely inexpensive. And yeah, I just want to go through it, show you a little bit about the shopping process, the shopping experience, and uh, check it out. So before we get started, before we get into it, let me just go through everything and tell you how much it was. I got one parka, two light jackets, one vest, three sweaters, two flannels, two button downs, two scarves, a pair of gloves, and I think that might be it. But it was all, in total, $250, and that's including the, the parka that was 100 So insane deals. We'll really get into it, um, and you're not going to believe it. So the first item is this chamois shirt, this, this kind of heavyweight flannel, it's super, super heavy. Um, and it's something that really I've wanted for a long, long time. And the, these, uh, these chamois, it gets the name from, I think, originally it's a suede leather. But because these, uh, these chamois shirts are so soft and they feel almost like suede, that's where they get the name from. So this one's amazing. It was originally 100 bucks, and this one came down to, drumroll, $8. And it's just amazing. I love the fit. It's a little bit of a looser fit, but that's what I wanted. Something I could easily layer with a t-shirt underneath, a long sleeve tee, maybe a Henley underneath. I love the, the natural color. I think it's going to go great with my dark denim jeans and just look killer. I love it. It's super warm, super soft, super cozy. Just an amazing piece. Love it. Eight bucks. All right, so let's get to the light jackets next. So this one is really cool. It's from Wallace and Barnes, which is their workwear inspired collection. And uh, this one is basically a chore jacket, which is kind of like just a denim jacket that has a little bit more pockets, a little more functional. And this was actually made out of like a fleece. So I'll open it up. Maybe I'll show some B-roll. You can see there's a pocket here, but um, it's really like a sweatshirt material, but it's made with real indigo dye. I hid that tag somewhere, but you can see it's made with real indigo. Let me get that to focus. Very nice. And I love the corduroy, co corduroy collar. And I think this one was originally, I forget exactly how much, but around 100 bucks. I got this one for $14 after the discount, so really, really just insane deals. Really like this one, amazing layer, layering piece. I think it looks really good, actually, with this uh, chamois shirt underneath, this natural chamois shirt. So very, very cool, very happy with this jacket. All right, the next one I'm really excited about, also another light jacket. This one is like a barn jacket, which is basically just a quilted jacket, and online it didn't say it, but it has Primaloft, which is, you'll see it's, it's in a lot of the other materials, but it's basically just a recycled polyester slash plastic um, recyclable material and it's an insulator that is a down um, alternative so it's better for the environment and again it's recycled so that's also much much better for the earth and so I love this one again with a, the nice corduroy collar really like this one and this one feels just really well made it's got a fleece lining like I said with the quilted on the inside also and with the insulator inside and I love the fit of this one um, again it's short and I love the flap in the back it with those snaps so that's also very cool that it has those snaps and it makes it a little bit more functional even that if I want to reach to my back pocket, I can grab out my wallet or my phone, whatever's there, because it has that flap easier to get access to those back pockets. Um, it has, which I actually don't like, but it has this, these hand warmer pockets in the front um, underneath and uh, I actually don't like that it has the zipper there. So I understand func functionally why it's there, but I don't actually don't like because it scratches my hands. Maybe you guys identify with this a little bit. It scratches my hands when I put my hands in that zipper. So that's okay, but really nice uh, between season jacket. You could wear it in the fall for sure. Um, definitely into the winter with, with layering. Again, with the sham, I'm already sweating. But you could wear it into the spring and really just a very, very good functional piece um, with a lot of pockets and just very comfortable and a, and a good fit. This one came out originally 200, came out to, to $18. So crazy deal again on this one. I really, really like this one. Moving right along, we get to this vest, another very nice vest, originally 128. Um, and this one came down to 28 bucks. So it wasn't as big of a huge discount as the other ones. But you can see also Primaloft with that nice fleece lining. And it's so much more substantial than the Uniqlo one that I have, that packable Uniqlo one. This one, I love it. And it's got a really nice nylon. So it's it, really the, the nylon, you think it's just a man-made material, but actually they do vary in quality. This one's a really, really nice quality material. Um, it has that leather tab on the zipper. Really like this one. I love that hand warmer pocket. It's very easy to get access to. I'm going to show that in some B-roll. Very, very nice. And I even like that it has a curved hem on the back. Just a little bit extra styling. Very cool. And again, something that I, I just, I had to pick it up before they sold out. Everything was selling out so fast that day. The website was crashing. Picked it up and obviously I fell in love with it when I got it. So another very cool lettering piece. All right, next was my most expensive purchase of the day. But I got this really nice parka. Again, they're using that recycled uh, Primaloft material in that quilted insulation. Um, but I really liked it, and I had to pick it up. Actually, I had a, a blue one in my cart before, and, and before I could check out, they sold out of it. So I got this one in a nice 
uh, small, fits wonderfully, and it's just huge. It reminds me a lot of the Canada Goose jackets that everyone here in New York is wearing, but it's got nice details, a nice pocket there, and some corduroy uh, detailing. Tons of pockets on the inside. It's got a double zipper, the nice hood with the lining, with a, with a nice um, imitation fur lining, and the hood has the has a fur on it. Really cool, really warm, and I love that it's, again, I feel good about wearing recycled material. Obviously, it's not a difference maker. I would love to have a Canada Goose, but for 100 bucks, originally it was 450 I thought this was, again, a no-brainer. Picked it up, and actually, the, my other parka that I wear from North Face has no insulation, so this one is so much warmer, and I'm going to wear this a ton in the coming months in the winter here in New York, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I've never done this before, but I'm going to try to just smack this on really quickly. Oh, wow, it worked! Very, very cool. Love it. Very, very soft flannel. This one's also Wallace and Barnes. Let me unbutton that one for a more casual look. But again, that Wallace and Barnes has that workwear-inspired aesthetic, which we love on the mensch. And this one, again, was also, I think, $100, the same as the chamois. And this one came down to $680, I think it was. So another amazing deal. I love this one. Um, really soft. It reminds me of one I have from The Gap, but this one's a little bit of, uh, it feels a little bit softer, a little bit better made. So um, really happy with this one. Again, it's got a much looser fit than um, some of the other slim fit flannels I have which I really appreciate because it makes it really easy to layer, layer and easy to use um, just in the winter time when I want to stack things over each other. So I like that looser fit for the mobi mobility of it. And also the look. I love this, uh, this plaid look. A no-brainer for six bucks for sure, right? All right, so here's the next one. Wow, it worked again. Love it. This American-grown Supima cotton, uh, just Oxford shirt. I love it. They have this like mechanical stretch in there. They're saying it's like uh, first woven loosely and then shrunk. But either way, it's got a little bit of stretch in it. I love this one um, because usually this tartan plaid with the, with the green and the blue and the navy usually has black, but this one has a, a brown almost, an olive green between it in, in those checks. So it'll go much, much better with brown tones. I love that. And it just feels really good. Again, if you've never had a Supina Cotton uh, Oxford, they just have a nice, uh, a definitely a smoother, but also a tighter finish to it. Much higher quality. I always recommend getting Supina Cotton shirts. This one came in at six dollars also originally 60 bucks so which is an amazing amazing deal and i definitely wanted to mention that i'm usually complaining a lot about how the bottom of the shirts usually right they usually bunch at the last but uh, the last button on the bottom towards my belt and this one is a slim fit but i'm so surprised and, and pleasantly pleasantly surprised that this one um does not bunch it actually has a little bit of a looser fit compared to other slim fit shirts again and i'm, I'm actually really impressed with jake like that i think they're updating their fits like that Something that I appreciate, I love, maybe some of you, uh, you can let me know in the comments, don't appreciate that, they like that, that slim fit, but I love that it's giving me a little bit of room to move, and especially with that natural stretch in there. Next one also, the same idea, another plaid Oxford, um, made with Supima cotton. Um, love this one, again, red, gray, and navy, so let's pop this one on, and boom! This one is the same idea, another Supima cotton Oxford. Um, the only difference, again, is the pattern, but the fit's the same, and I just, I really, really do like these a lot. Super impressed by these, and again, it came in at six bucks, originally 60. Had to grab these before they sold out, which was really, mama sh <laughs> mm -hmm. was really in a, in a matter of minutes, these sold out, like, so quickly, so I was really lucky to get my hands on one. Um, really, really nice, and again, an, an all-year staple is an Oxford like this. It's got a nice lightweight to it, uh, but again, because of that Supima Khan, it's nice and tough, and it feels very smooth. So definitely, definitely like it for all year round. So now let's get to the sweaters. I tried this, they have this new line called Destination, um, and this one is the Destination Merino Wool. So it's a Merino Wool sweatshirt, uh, sweater in this nice waffle weave. So let's get this on. All right, so it fits right over this nice Oxford that I got perfectly, and something I like about this one a lot is that it has an open bottom, so it doesn't have that elastic-y kind of uh, bunching up at the bottom. So I really do like that for layering. And this one, again, it came in at nine bucks. It was originally, I think, 50 with this destination line that they have. I think they're going for staple pieces at a little bit of a lower price range. So this one did come in at $9. Really like this one. Merino wool is always the best um, in terms of wool for breathability in the winter. I always, always recommend and stress to guys to get some merino wool into their wardrobes in the wintertime. So again, really like this one in the waffle knit. Also got one for the twin brother, so he's got one too. The next sweater is this one I got. I actually bought this one two weeks ago for $33. And I returned it, and thank God I did, because this one came in at 11 bucks. Originally, I think around 80. Really do like this one a lot, and I wanted something that was wool that I could wear without a shirt underneath. That was chunky. That would again keep me warm in these cold winters. So for 11 bucks, it was again a no-brainer. This one was final sale, so definitely keep in mind if you ever find yourself on J. Crew during a sale, that some of stuff is final sale, and you won't be able to return it. So this one is final sale, but I already knew, like I said, that I had tried it on before, so I did know that I would like this one. And then this one has a little bit of a nylon in it, and you can tell that it's a little bit of a looser fabric. And so there is a lot of pilling um, right out of the box. I don't really mind so much, 
but maybe worth noting, there is a lot of pilling with some of their sweaters. So definitely look at the reviews and check that out too. And the final sweater, before we get to the accessories, is this uh, nice cotton sweater uh, in this nice mustard color. And this one came in at $4. Insane deal. All right, so this one is a cotton. It's a little bit of a looser fit, which I don't really prefer necessarily. For five bucks, of course, it's obviously a good deal, but it's a little bit of a looser fabric, a looser knit. It's cotton, so it won't keep me warm as much, but this one's good, especially for layering with a shirt underneath. It's gonna be nice and breathable, and just, yeah, a nice look, nice color too. Uh, can't complain, very much like this one. And it'll go great with these workman's gloves. These are originally a hundred bucks, these nice goat skin gloves lined with shearling. And snag these again before they sell out. Ever, oh, by the way, all the stuff really not, like really did sell out within the first few hours of the sale. It really did sell out quickly. But this one's really nice. It's got the suede on the inside, the soft lining, and the shearling is super, super warm. So 10 bucks. Another, I had to just pick them up before everyone else did. And this will go great. I got this nice cashmere scarf. I think this one was originally like a 100, I think it might have been. Cashmere, 100%. Really, really lovely scarf. Gonna keep you warm. It goes nice with this orange sweater. And this one again, 10 bucks. Cannot complain. When are you gonna get a cashmere scarf for 10 bucks? Tell me. And last but not least, I got this beautiful, beautiful scarf in this nice plaid. This one actually is made from Abraham Moon, 100% wool. It's got that wool um, symbol there to know it's 100% pure wool. Beautiful scarf made in England. Uh, and this one came in at a whopping eight dollars so love it again these sold out within a few hours and i was really really lucky to get my hands on one before they sold out all right guys so let me know what you thought about the haul what you thought about the video if you like this type of style of video let me know in the comments i really appreciate it and yeah what did you think of the clothes i i'm a huge fan i think i feel even a little guilty knowing that first of all people paid a lot more than this for these exact clothes a few weeks earlier um or a few days earlier for their holiday shopping and, um, you know, I just watched a documentary, The True Cost, so it is a little bit on my mind how cheap the clothes are. But at the same time, these are quality clothes, and, um, you know, I'm really do, I am happy to have them, and it's really not my particular problem to necessarily uh, change the whole system. So, again, I do, I'm, I'm a little bit conscious of it, and I do feel a little guilty, but definitely glad to have all the clothes, I, I have to admit. So, uh, please leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, check me out on Instagram. Uh, the blog is pumping out right now, new articles every day, so go ahead and check that out. So, thank you so much for watching.